everybody. It's Carrie with Creatively Carrie. I hope you are enjoying your Friday um, here in the north state of California. Um, we have uh, cooled down quite a bit um, and so that's a nice change of pace for us. We were um, above 100 the last three days. So I hope everybody is doing well. And let's see here. I'm going to try to get my screen set up. There we go. All right. Hopefully you guys can see what I got going on here. So um, as I promised uh, earlier in the week in my other um, tutorial is I was going to show you guys a tutorial on or just a quick little video on acrylic pouring so that's what I'm doing here tonight um, I am going to be doing a simple pour process on some coasters so these are ceramic unfinished uh, unsealed um, ceramic coasters and um, I have already poured my colors into my paint pouring medium And I have um, four colors that I'm going to be uh, kind of using tonight. So I have a blue, I have a gold, I have a green, and I have a white. My blue, gold, and um, green are all a metallic paint. And so um, my white is just a flat white color that I'm going to be using. And what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be... Um, pouring these paints in layers into another little cup and creating what's called a dirty pour okay so I'm just gonna start doing that right now and I'm just gonna talk a little bit um, about what's happening so I'm just doing small layers one at a time with my different colors and I'm gonna do approximately try to do about the um, the same color each time, the same amount of color each time, trying to, I'm not looking for perfection here, just trying to get roughly the same amount. And then I'm going to get this um, little single cup as full as I can. So this is a first for me. I have not poured um, at such a small scale before. I usually do bigger things. And um, you've, if, you've, if you know anything about acrylic pouring, uh, there's tons of videos online and there are tons of um, people out there doing it in, in many different ways and using different um, paints. Well, all I've done is used a, a fluid paint here. Um, so this is just basic acrylic, fluid acrylic paint uh, with a pouring medium by Liquitex. And um, poured those in with the medium, mixed it, and then here we have my layering that I'm doing. I have one other ingredient in this, and you'll probably, if you uh, know anything about online stuff, you'll hear people say silicone, silicone, silicone. So there is silicone in this pour mixture too as well. Okay, so here I go. I'm gonna pick one of my um, coasters and I am going to, hopefully, <laughs> you guys can see this. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna pick one and I'm gonna just start pouring. Now I also have covered my table and I also have a tray here to catch the pour so it doesn't go everywhere because this stuff is messy and sticky once it's down it's permanent okay so I'm just gonna pour this sometimes the people will flip them sometimes they'll um, do different types of things so but I am just gonna pour this until it rolls off the edges so again when you're working with pour you're you really want a level surface if you can have one Okay, unless you're going for something different. You know, if you want it to pour off of your piece, then by all means you can have it tipping. Okay. But the idea here is to let your medium 
pour off the edges and create these wonderful swirly um, cell like and each one of these is going to be different even though it's from the same mixture because it changes every a little bit each time okay and I may pour more because I can see that some of it didn't go to all the edges and this one kind of stayed in the center so I am going to create a little bit more so I'm going to start with my blue again just a small layer in there I'm going to do the gold some green now if you're interested in learning how to do this I do offer classes I look I offer local classes here in Sacramento um, in downtown Sacramento at um, University Art and then I also am getting ready to try out a virtual class with this um, actually coming up this Monday so if you're interested in learning you can go to eventbrite.com look up creatively carry or acrylic pouring classes and you will find my class there and then of course if you sign up I will send you a supply list things that you will need and then uh, you can join me for doing some of this yourself because it's really really easy okay so I can see this is kind of morphed over here so I'm going to add a little bit of my mixture there so it goes off the edge Again, this little guy, he kind of, I'm going to oh, just want to miss the edge. Yeah, I really want it to go off the edge because I have these round edges for the coasters. I really want that to go over. So I'm going to kind of concentrate on making sure it goes over the edges and covers everything for the sides. So I'm just pouring little bits again on the sides. So one thing about acrylic pour is it's really easy. And everybody worries about messing it up, but you I tell them, you know, you can't really mess this up. Um because acrylic pour, you really have no control over it. <laughs> the only control you have is the colors you choose and pick. So that's that's about where your control ends and begins, begins and ends. Okay, so you kind of have to um, understand that this could be a learning experience and different each time you do it or when you want to do it. Okay, don't have any expectations. Just experiment and have fun and you will actually be very surprised at how easy and fun and spectacular these things turn out. All right, so let me know if you're watching, say hi, or click that like button, or uh, just let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer anything here. Um, and then with acrylic pour, you got to remember that um, it needs time to dry. So once it starts to settle and it goes over the edges, you've got everything covered, you want to leave it alone and let it dry. It takes, um, in my experience working on canvas, it takes about 24 hours for it to be completely dry to the touch and not, um, so that you're not going to um, mess it up in any way. Okay. Um, and then once it's dry, you, you can just um, obviously take it, depending on what you're using, like canvas, you're going to spray it or you're, or you're going to give it a gloss finish. The same with coasters or anything that's going to actually be used. Um, you're going to want to spray it or cover it with a finish to protect it. Okay, so again, I can see I still have a little bit of the edges that aren't getting covered. So once again, I'm just going to take a little bit more of my mixture here. Um, your mixture 
you can save it, but it needs to be in a um, closed container. So a bottle, anything that has a lid container that you don't mind sacrificing to your paints and your pores. Um, and then you can use it again for a, a rainy day or another time. Okay. All right. So I did one round. Um, I'm going to try to go on my edges here and see if I can get any of that to um, kind of cover my edges. Uh, something you'll also probably have noticed if you ever watched videos on um, YouTube about acrylic pouring, um, they use um, flame uh, heat guns um, to help um, do two things. One is to remove any um, bubbles that might be have come about because of the pouring process or the stirring process when you're um, working in the colors into the medium and the silicone into the medium as well. I'm going to walk around on the other side of my table here. And I just want to make sure that I've, I've covered all sides. Yep, I got a couple of things I couldn't see. So I'm just going to pour from this direction. Um, and the other thing is, um, some artists look for cells. They look for round shapes of color to pop through, to come through the layering that happens in the process. Um, and depending on the silicone that you use and how much and what you're going for, and the way you use it, determines whether or not you're going to get a lot of cells. Now, you don't have to have a heat gun to do cells. It's it's. You can have cells without that because it's the way you pour it or the way you layer your color and acrylic pouring in there. Um, and that's something that I teach in my class. I also teach in my class uh, color, uh, tones, different things that you can do to add to your pieces um, to make them pop. And so I'm real quickly going to run my heat gun because I can see I have a couple of air bubbles and I want to see if I can get those out. So I'm going to turn this on. It's going to be a little loud for a second. And you don't want to stay over your bubbles too long. You'll want them to pop if they will. If they don't, and it just keeps spreading, because it'll spread. Yeah, maybe I need to go higher on my temp here. If you get too close, it's just going to spread and push your paint around, and that's not ideal. There we go. I'm just going to move the paint. Again, not ideal. Okay. Um, if you have a pin, you can also pop the bubbles. Um, if you don't really care about the bubbles, because... Um, the bubbles don't necessarily always look bad, so you can do that. Um, and I can I can see where I missed just a little bit of an edge over here. And then one other little secret I'm going to let you in on um, throughout this drying process, I'm going to have to come back in here and knock off little drips that stay underneath. I'll be using. Um, some of my um, popsicle sticks to do that. I'll just come along and just kind of scrape the little drips so that they don't get stuck there. Uh, you can wait until after it's dry to do this, but you're going to have to have a special Dremel tool um, to kind of shave it off. So there are ways to get around it if you can. Okay. So. There it is, pouring in a nutshell. Quick little video for you guys to enjoy. Um, I love these colors. They're very um, natural and organic. Make me think of uh, earth and water. Um, I'm I'm partial to blues. I blues are my favorite. So yeah, these are one of my favorites. And then this is going to be a set of coasters. 
once they're dry I will uh, seal them and, and cover them and make sure everything's good to go but I think in they're looking really really good alright guys I hope you have a great weekend thanks for watching again if you um, want to join any of my classes or see more about what I'm doing you can visit my um, Facebook page creatively carry and you can also go to eventbrite.com and search creatively carry and um, my events will pop up for you so all right guys I look forward to seeing you next week um, next Wednesday will be another tutorial in your sketchbooks and Friday we'll do another fun painting tutorial all right guys have a great one good night